purpose of the Institute for Critical Technology and Applied Science is to enhance the capacity and reputation of Virginia Tech in high impact interdisciplinary research for a sustainable future. We need interdisciplinary approaches because the challenges are so great. Not any one discipline is going to be able to solve some of these really complex problems. I'm able to do things here at Virginia Tech that I couldn't do anywhere else. Where ICTES comes into play is catalyzing the ability for us to work together and take it to the next level. We have every talent that you can think of pulling it all together into a very coherent, uh, terrific team uh, takes a bit of work, something that we've achieved with ICTAS, but I would say that that is uh, its major contribution to Virginia Tech. My research is on compounds in the atmosphere, gases and particles. We take the same tools that we've used for traditional pollutants and we're now applying them to these emerging or kind of things that we haven't really thought of as pollutants before, but looking at them in, in the same way and looking at how they're kind of the physics, chemistry of those in the atmosphere. So I share a laboratory with an environmental chemist and a geoscientist and our students are working together on a day-to-day -day basis and talking and generating ideas and troubleshooting together. So it really comes from that intersection among the faculty, uh, among uh, scientists, philosophers. When you only bring engineers together, they typically think along the same lines. But when you bring engineers and humanists together, then different perspectives come along. ICTAS is so important because it's an open-ended research institute like no other on this campus. ICTAS is looking into the long-term future. They're supporting research that has promise in the years ahead, sometimes decades away. We need to have tolerance for risk. We need to let people sometimes do unencumbered, untargeted research because we don't know where that discovery will lead us to. I think we have brought that culture to Virginia Tech. Without ICTAS, a lot of new things I think will not be able to happen. As, as a basic scientist, uh, risk-taking is the only way in order to innovate. So you have to go out and do totally new things in order to innovate. One of the things that we've, we've talked about just a little bit, but it's really developing, is kelp polysaccharide, the stuff that comes out of the ocean. Uh, if we modify it just right, um, we can use it to create uh, what's called a bio-artificial pancreas. And that sounds very complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. It's meant, to, it's meant to cure type 1 diabetes. Putting the, the, the cultures of science and engineering together, you are looking to, for a creative spark. You, you can't predict when that's going to happen. What you can do is to create an environment in which this spark is more likely than not to take place. That's what you're looking for. And ICTAS is an agent for that. It is, in every sense of the word, inventing the future.